here. Yo, Captain. Eh, you ain't so bad after all. Now, when I first joined this ship, I had my doubts. You got us through that foobar at Farport, all right? I figured you'd be the type to order a frontal assault with only 200 ships against five packed fleets. Heh. <laughs> I would have loved to see and look on old Pigman's face when we finally roasted him. You and me both, Ikari. Apologies, Captain. It appears that our mercenary is quite intoxicated. Shut up. Don't be so stiff, soldier boy. We're all privateers here. All right, all right. That's enough, ladies. Fill her plate with some meat, of course. There you go. Then we seem to be missing someone. Figured as much here. Take the grill. Sure. Mm. Thought I'd find you here. The stars give me peace. I much prefer the sound of the waves to the clamor of loud gatherings. Uh, well. You should probably eat something. Must be hungry. Only a shooting star sailed through the night sky. Ah. And if it is nothing more than a holographic illusion, the skies here remind me of my home at Farport. Home, huh? Tell me about home. I was not always a princess. Most of my life, I was merely a lowly peasant, hardly worth more than the livestock we raised. Home was a small wooden cottage. The winters were too cold and the summers were too hot. We survived on what we grew in the garden and the game I caught in the forest. An odd beginning for the princess of Reuvia. My mother was a commoner whom my father and taken to his fancy while he was a prince. She was taken by dreams of living in the palace, of being taken care of. Of her, none of those dreams came to pass, were abandoned, forgotten. That must have been difficult for her. She wasted away, waiting for him to return. It was foolish. For her, he must have meant the world. Do you recall how I told you of the death of the Emperor and his heir? You said the Emperor and his heir were assassinated, and that began a war for succession, and your father, the second prince, and Crow Harbor, his stepbrother. Indeed, but I have suspicions the one who assassinated the Emperor and the first prince was my own father. A Reuvian court of my era was a snake pit. Betrayals, assassinations, machinations, they were a part of the palace culture. Instead of becoming emperor, though, their father's assassination plot triggered a war of succession with his stepbrother. Yes. The civil war raged for many years until the empire was on the verge of collapse. It became clear drastic measures had to be taken. The Charlock had to be awakened. The true princess of Riuvia was a stranger to hardship. She was too selfish to sacrifice her life for the Empire. Yes, so she used her connections to find me. The king's men seized me three years after my mother's passing. I knew nothing of royal succession or of palace intrigue. And I found myself in the midst of my father's dangerous game. I was taken to my ho from my home, impressed into service. And your father essentially abandoned you and then kidnapped you when he needed you to save his own hide? Wow. Sola, your dad's a dick. And I hope his death was painful. At first I was angry, but... I realized the task before me was too great to be abandoned. The future of the Empire was in my hands. I chose to wield the Charlac to defend my homeland. I must have been terrified. Also, your dad's still a dick. 
It is strange. The first time in my life, I was happy. Even though I knew what awaited me at the end of my mission, people told me the Princess of Ryuvia. Remember, after each victory, marching through the Arch of Destiny on Ryuvia Prime and being hailed as the Shar by the people. Knowledge I, a simple country girl, would die a hero of the Ryuvian people. It filled me with such unspeakable pride. Yes, it takes great courage to die for your people. Of course, I was terrified. Uh, when the women walk up to you and tell you how they pray for you, when the children follow you just to line your steps with fresh flowers? And I really have no choice, do I? Unexpectedly, uh, they heard Asaka's voice. So the team tailed behind her. Oh, there they are. Come over here, Captain. We have more food. Well, shall we go? Mm. Captain. Yeah? I do not know yet why I was brought to this timeline or what purpose I will find here. Yet, I know now it was not yet a... Tra not a travesty, but a fortune. It is still premature to tell if the sorrows of the past are truly behind me, but you have my appreciation, not as a princess, but as a common girl. My pleasure. I sense another formidable rival has appeared. What did I miss? Also, shut up, Clive. Claude, whatever. No one likes you. Seriously, I have no idea what you will see in him. Absolutely unbelievable. The team crashed into their log cabin for the night. I'm so full. I expect the crew to be on their best behavior for this overnight stay. We may all be sleeping under the same roof. I remind you all that we are proud soldiers of the Sir. Yahoo! Who's up for some strip poker? Shut up, Claude. Let's pull an all-nighter. When I get to sleep in the captain's room. Absolutely not. Veto. 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 <clears throat> it's like I'll have to lock my door tonight. Oh, yeah. Okay, I never want to win, then. We need to bet something else. I want the loser has to run around the cabin six times. Naked. Shameful. Scared to show off what's dangling between your legs? You. Unbelievable. I didn't say something. What do you want me to say? They're going to do it whatever I tell them. Have fun? Off to our room. And she nearly faints. Come well, on, Commander, we need to get you into the game, too. <sighs> There's something to soothe the nerves. It's a car race, so of course it would be alcohol. It's highly inappropriate. Section 39A, line 98, strictly forbids games of chance on board all... And... <sighs> Force-feeding her wine. Lovely. Vessels of the... the... This wine is actually quite impressive. If you want to get technical, you aren't on board a starship right now, so does that even apply? Well, something I've been saving in the Phoenix's hidden compartment. Pretend I got it from claim it to be lost wine from the cellars of the fourth Ryuvian dynasty. And honestly, it's good enough to almost believe that. Well... I believe it's best for me to remain here to supervise you all, then. Of course. Exactly my thoughts, Commander. I'm sure. That angrily pours herself another glass. That was when I was in seventh grade and got this, this 
goo goo eyed girl. What was her face? Flora? And just a month before, he was so funny over Hannah. Absolutely unbelievable. And impropriety. So it became my mission to finally beat some sense into this man. I never knew. But not even that was enough. Oh no. And that there was another one of those lambs that he fancies. Ugh. What's her name? The library girl? And uh, perhaps you've had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> yeah. She's definitely the sort that gets tipsy and shares all of the things. You don't feel anything, you say. Right. Looks like Operation Fine Wine is working. Is your chance, Chigara? Not sure I can. Now or never. Chigara will try her best. Find, sh find shields on the wooden deck outside. There you are, Captain. Was I getting a bit rowdy in there? Eh, you could say that. Uh, suddenly I have no idea what I'm supposed to say. A sworn. Imagine how I would do this a thousand times before. Well, Chief, couldn't have done it without you. No. Just don't call me that, Captain. Me Chigara. All right. Mm. And remaining contestants, cabins gathered in a nearby bush. Mm. What are we all doing here? Shh, they'll hear us. I don't know what's happening. I order you to take me back. Oh, just watch the show. What show? Uh, it's pounding so hard it feels like it's going to explode. I'm not even the one who's going to confess to him. <laughs> <laughs> gotta stay still. Gotta stay still. I've seen enough enemy on the hollow to know that these kind of confessions always get interrupted. Ooh. Claude could hear Saga's thoughts. She pulled out a comm badge. What's that? I was communicator just to make sure there are no interruptions. My chance has just plummeted. Heh <laughs> heh. Well, I have to step further and disabled all electronic communications within a 500 foot radius of here. Not even Arcadius dropping from the stairs is going to keep those two from getting it on tonight. Uh. You guys really went into this. No way. Oh, is there something wrong? I'm really pale, Chigara. Oh no, oh no. And suddenly, hit me all at once. Oh, I'm suddenly dizzy. Am I going to do what? Commander, it's, it's just all in good fun. It's highly improper. Got some more wine for you, Commander. Oh. Even shut down the Commander. Ooh. Captain, save me. Kara, are you alright? Hmm. Not good. Not good. <sighs> One for the holograph. Captain. Yes, Chigara? Why are you always so cold, Chigara? Not sure what you mean. I'll worry about you. I always worry about you. A shadow over you, but you never let us get close enough to help. I don't have to carry your burden yourself, Captain. I'm here. Hmm? Never expected my first command to turn out this way. It's probably the youngest captain in the Siren fleet. And had to train a bunch of us, fresh recruits, to fly the Sunrider. We're the greenish ship of the Siren fleet. And here we are, fighting for the fate of the galaxy. All your lives are in my hands. 
The lives of billions of innocents throughout the galaxy are mine to protect. And the blood of millions I abandoned that day are also on my hands. I am the captain. Every decision, every triumph, every failure ultimately rests with me. It is a burden only I have to carry. Captain, why do you always want to be alone? You're always like this, to everyone. I know how it must feel. That's why I want to help. Whenever I think of what it must be like leading us to battle all the time, I just want to... You don't have to say anything. I know. And there's really nothing for me to say, is there? You'll always be my shield. Mm, I understand. It's late. I should be going. Good night. Good night, Captain. Well, that ends that, I suppose. Oh well. Time for us to go to bed, too. Aww. Well, I believe tonight's festivities are over. Let's clean up and go to sleep. And, once more for the road, shut up, Claude. Chigara. Now I don't even know how I should feel about this. Come on, move, people. Heard the commander hit the bunk. A morning? Ugh, what happened? And to distinctly remember? Ugh. Well, to think I would make such a mockery of myself. I'd make up for this, or else the crew will be laughing behind my back for ages. More likely they'll just find it refreshing to know you are in fact human. All hands form up now. Tension. Okay. Well, with that, I believe we can safely say our shore leave has concluded. Mm -hmm. Certainly filled with many colorful memories and found our bonds of camaraderie, we now resume our mission. The overthrow of Venkazar Arcadius and the unconditional surrender of all packed forces. Yes, ma'am. Commander, we'll hunt Arcadius down until he has nowhere to hide. I love you, Commander. Shut up, Claude. Hmm. Gather our things. We depart at 800 hours. We hunt the Crimson Fleet tonight. Should we return, Captain? It'll be a while until we can do this again. I mean, he never wants to leave here. Just stay and let the war solve itself. But it looks like that will not be our fate. Is the crew ready? The crew is behind you 100%. Be with you every step of the journey. All right. And you? I am and always will be ready to be your XO, Captain. Good. I knew I could trust you, Ava. Now let's go. We have a war to win. Good day, Captain. The ship is yours to command. What's our status? We are fully stocked and ready to go on your command. All right, let's stretch our legs a bit. The Alliance Pact Wars begun in earnest. It will be needed all across the galaxy now. Do we have any missions? Aye, Captain. Since the invasion of Versta, Act has constructed a substantial number of orbital resupply stations around the planet. According to Alliance Intel, a battleship squadron is due to arrive in Versta within days for maintenance and supplies. Mm. Our objective is to warp in, destroy the orbital resupply stations and the entire battleship squad, then warp out before Pact can warp in reinforcements from Ryuvia Prime. Versta's, un Versta's under lock and key. It won't be easy taking out an entire battleship squad. Luckily, the Alliance also managed to steal Pact's maintenance schedule. We'll time our attack exactly as the battleships are powered down and sink them before Pact realizes what is happening. Just remember, plan the whole thing about planned surviving contact with the enemy. Speed will be of the essence. Once we arrive, it will not be long before Pact musters its forces. 
All right, any others? I picked up some rumors on the hollow net about an ancient Ryuvian artifact hidden on Farport's moon. Strange thing is, the Alliance recently dispatched a squadron of 12 battle cruisers to the moon as well. They lost contact just three hours after it arrived. There's been no sign of them since. I did some more research and it seems like about every ship which approached that moon has disappeared. Suppose it's haunted? Highly unlikely, Captain. Before you get all excited about this, I should warn you that whatever managed to annihilate the Alliance squad would mop the floor with us. There is that, yes. So let's get to it. I was afraid of that. Finally, a mission from the mining union. I was wondering when Sofita would return my calls. Captain, the war has had a destabilizing influence on the neutral rim. A torrent of new refugees and mercenaries throughout the galaxies led to an upsurge in piracy. Shortly after we smoked Cosette and her gang out of Tidaria, three more pirate groups have moved in to fill the power vacuum. The Union wishes for us to return and wipe them out. More pirates? It's like there's never going to be an end to them. The steel industry has mushroomed thanks to the Alliance's entry into the war. The Union will need more escorts than ever before to protect its shipping lanes. Well, more money for us. I can't complain about smashing up pirates for some quick credits. That's all the missions we have for now. Thanks. Carry on, Ava. Oh, my lord. Those cutscenes just kept on going and going and going. They really did. But with all of that drama and plenty of stuff for us to do on the side, we are going to leave it here. This has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you have been watching Sunrider Mask of Arcadius. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like comment down below and subscribe for more space waifu wars thanks for watching i'll see you next time see you then folks see you then